I mentioned yesterday on the vlog that it was raining and thunder showering. Last night it got intense. This road in front of our apartment had so much water on it, it looked like a river. It was absolutely crazy. And from like four in the morning on, it was just really loud, consistent thunder and lightning for three straight hours. And it's supposed to be coming back. The storm's supposed to be swinging back this afternoon. Uh, I'm getting rained on right now as I walk. So it does mean I'm probably stuck indoors all day, but the good news is I have the studio to work on. So I think I'm going to try to install the flooring today, the cork flooring. So we'll do that. Zoom, zoom, keep up my pace. Got a little bit uh, rained on. Let me turn on the fuses. Yeah, I got a little bit rained on. And honestly, I kind of love the rain. When we moved to Portugal, the one concern I had was that it was gonna be too sunny, and that might sound crazy, but a little bit of rain is good for you. As a photographer, blue skies get a little bit boring. From a life perspective, it's nice to have, you know, the change and the freshness that comes with rain. And from a philosophical perspective, it's nice to have the rain reminds you how nice the sunny days are. So I appreciate and love this rain. And uh, now it's time to get downstairs and get to work. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Hey. Ah. I shouldn't swear. Poo! This didn't work. I'm gonna have to find another solution. I guess maybe put up some ply board or something. Oh. This, as you guys might have seen yesterday, was all up on the wall and I thought it was gonna work. It looked like it was holding and now it's down and that's with like no air circulation or nothing, so. Uh, other than the acoustic thing coming down, it's gonna be a busy day today. I've got to clean up this entire floor and then I'm gonna try to lay the, the cork. And I know builders are probably gonna tell me the floor should be like one of the last things since there's gonna be stuff coming down on it lots but I can't stand to look at this floor anymore. It's hideous. So I'm gonna put the floor in and I wanna walk on it and use it for a couple days to see if it's, uh, if it's gonna disintegrate. Cause if it does disintegrate, I need to lay uh, like hardwood floor or something like that in here. So let's get this cleaned up. Let's get that acoustic stuff cleaned up and let's start uh, laying some floor. Change it coming, it's closer every day. I feel the waters rising just like a tidal wave. So go and tell your brother and sisters all the same. We gotta come together for a brighter day. While I wait for the floor to dry in there, I kind of want to do another test of this acoustic foam to try to figure out what I need to do because I think this glue situation, it'll stick to plywood much better than it did the like nasty cement covered in paint. So I want to know if this is possible before I go out and buy just a bunch of plywood and build it around the entire studio wall. So I got this test piece of wood. It's really hard composite board, so I'm not sure it's gonna work the same as plywood would, but I'm just gonna do a test on this, see if this works. And then I assume, and then option number two, which probably won't look nearly as nice, but it could work, is just staples. I have like a staple gun, so I'm gonna try a couple staples just to kind of see what it would look like. And I think maybe if I get them in the gaps, it would work without looking bad. Uh, it doesn't look good though. See how that goes. Tomorrow, 
Don't judge me, but it's lunchtime and I'm doing planning and I didn't feel like eating healthy. Jody and I usually eat pretty healthy, mostly because Jody eats healthy and I just do whatever she wants. But yeah, she's not here, so I'm not having McDonald's. It's kind of embarrassing, but not really, because I'm hungry and I've been working hard and I feel like I deserve it. I, uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for the floors to dry and then I'm gonna try to install them. And I think I've come up with a plan for the walls that'll be easy, I think. We gotta change today. We gotta come together and find another way. Okay, moment of truth with the flooring. It's not the end of the world if this doesn't work. Best case scenario, I can use this underlay as actual flooring. Worst case scenario, I have nice underlay for the actual flooring. So let's lay this out. And I've been saying this for two days or three days. If you're a builder and you're watching this and you're annoyed at how I'm doing things, I'm sorry. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm winging this. Think we can make it happen together. I believe we can be the change we want to see. My appraisal is, I think it looks good. I think it feels great. Like it feels really nice to walk on. I think this could work. My only question is, I have no idea how to get it to stay in place. Do I glue the entire thing down? Or do I need to add another top layer to it? Okay, so I think the only way I can make this work as actually floor is to try to get some glue down to hold it in place. Otherwise it's gonna move, it's gonna wrinkle, it's gonna get bad. So I'm doing a test sample in this little room here on, uh, yeah, under here, there's some weight on it. I basically used three different glues on chunks of the cork just to see if it would work, how it would work, and which one would work best. This one was just like some cheap yeah, that doesn't work. That's some gum stuff. Although, to be fair, I, I've only had it there for like 15 minutes. This is the fancy stuff, and that's holding. Oh yeah. Oh, that might work. And then this is the cheap spray stuff. Cheap spray stuff doesn't work. Okay, I think that's gonna work actually with this. So let's lay some of that down. Okay, so the first two rows I was a perfectionist on, then I got lunch and I came back and I could see that the seams are gonna crumble, it's probably gonna get bubbly. This is an underlay for a reason and not an overlay, so <laughs> this is gonna be an underlay. I did the last strip really fast, I've gotta cut out, I guess, one and a half more strips and then tomorrow we'll get hardwood and lay hardwood. But actually, let's go check on this adhesive. Let's go see if this adhesive that I put on this is working on this, uh, whatever you call it, acoustics. So that, yeah, that's on. That's on, that's not so on. Okay, so the super powerful glue I'm using, which is giving me a bit of a contact high, is working. I might try it again overnight on this wall to see if, uh, if it'll stick to the cement, then I don't have to buy ply board. So cheap. I'm on the GoPro because the battery on my camera died. <laughs> I, uh, I think this is gonna hold. I think that glue um, that I bought for the floor is gonna work for the walls. I did a pretty shoddy <laughs> job at stitching this together. I gotta be more careful, there's gaps. Um, but I think it looks cool. Yeah, and there's also glue sticking out. But I think it looks cool. So we'll see how this does overnight. I was planning on doing a lot more work today. It's only 5.15. 
but I guess there's nothing I can do until I get the hardwood floor or see how the acoustic stuff works. I think it's starting to come together already. It was like two days ago and I was feeling like I bit off way more than I could chew. Now I'm feeling like I'm getting there. I think even by the end of the week, if I had more money to be able to buy things, I could be done by the end of the week. But I gotta wait until the next payday. So we'll be close to done by the time I'm done daily vlogging, this daily vlogging week, I think. And that's exciting. So I'll see you guys tomorrow while we do a little bit more of this. Peace.